So hey guys, and welcome to Cypher. This is a game where we have to kind of um, resolve a variety of um, puzzles using a variety of, uh, what would we say, cryptological, I don't know if that's that the word. Uh, basically we need to use, well you'll see, it's easier if I just show you how it works. A variety of ways to create codes and ciphers and we have to work out what the answers to them are. Uh, in terms of options, we've got everything pretty much as we want to. I don't think there's anything major to worry about. Basically a classical kind of soundtrack as well, so relatively laid back musically speaking. So here we are, this is the area. Um, so we need to work out codes. Now the first one's actually very simple. I, I went and did this one before just to make sure I knew what we were doing. So obviously this was um, all about Alice. She was going to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank. Wondering about what use her book was. This is Alice in Wonderland. Um, in terms of this, it's pretty obvious what the solution is because it makes it pretty clear. There are obviously letters which are capital, which are bold. Um, and we just read them G O L D, so gold E key, golden oh, N, golden key. So golden key. And we just type it in. Golden key. And that opens the door from the first room. So we've got an introduction to cryptography and some details about it. We've got a variety of ciphers and things along the wall. Cryptography is the study of secret messages. Cryptography has been used throughout history as a means of exchanging private correspondence, such as personal letters, important military communications and financial information. It's created an ongoing race between cryptographers who uh, design increasingly complex ciphers and the cryptanalysts who attempt to crack them. So there we go. Uh, these are talking about earlier forms, uh, earliest known cryptographic device, the Satali, used to perform basic transpositions right up to present day-ish. So, okay. This is an example. Can't actually do anything with this. Uh, but there's a variety of ways, obviously, that uh, things were encrypted in the past. So here we go, we've got a variety of little offshooting rooms that we can do. The first place we start off with is what's called steganography. Uh, basically concealed writing. And you've got a message hidden within a regular and basic looking message. I'll show you what we mean. So, immediately this one's obvious. Um, it's the food stores for a camp. But if we look at the first letter, of every word we get spy suspected. So if I click in here and put spy suspected, that takes that one and unlocks it. Nice and easy. On to the next one. Now, once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. Now you might have noticed in the word while there was an extra L. If you look through this one, uh, we've got L, we've got an E in forgotten, which isn't supposed to be there. So L E, just make sure I haven't missed anything. Uh, yeah, L E. There's m missing an N from suddenly. So yeah, L E. I'm gonna say N. As of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door, there's an extra O there. So L E N O. Now it's pretty obvious this is Poe, uh, we're talking about the raven, and the person he was talking about was called Lenore. So if I can just get in there, we go L-E-N-O-R-E, -E, Lenore. We worked that out because of mainly the, the actual poetry, but there we go. Right, now all we have is some letters. If we look closely, we can see that they've hidden a message. It says invisible ink. So let's type that in. So that one's kind of obvious. Next. What's the fourth 
one. It's been too long since we last spoke, however, the time of our escape is not something which one can divulge so easily. For fear of prying eyes, but we will soon be free. Hmm. Two, four. Do you know what? Just a thought. Numbers. Two is two. One is one. Four is four. And three is three. So I reckon we want to type in two, one, four, three. And that's right by the look of it. Yes, it is. Next. Okay, the fatal tablets till that instant sealed the deathful secret to the king revealed. Hmm. Wait, there's writing under that. In plain sight. So it's not a full stop. It says in plain sight. In plain sight. I mean, those are fairly simple. Although they do require you to, you know, you have to investigate what you're looking at a bit more closely to ensure you're not missing anything. So, 0308, 1815, and 1415. These are times, but they can also be letters. So, C is 3, 8, A, C, D, F, G, H, C, H, 18, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, C, H, R, that was R, we go back, 3, O, C, H, R, O, the 4, O is N, that's chrono, which makes some sense, because it's time, right? So yeah, sometimes these uh, are simple, sometimes they take a bit more kind of thinking of, I suppose, uh, right, but this one, um, how do we deal with this, you might say? What is it? So what do we have here? We have some shapes, and I don't know. Dot, dot, dash, dot. I, I don't know. Oh, do you know what? Hmm. Yeah, I think a dot, 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 that squares a space. Dot, dash. Dash, dash. Dot, dot, dash. Dot, dot, dash, dot, dot. Could it be this? This is just me. What was the name of the person that created? Well, that was credited with creating Morse code. Samuel Morse, was it? Got it. I mean, there's Morse code there, so we could have used that to check it. Dot dot dot. Yeah. Dot dash. Yeah. I mean, that seems to. Well, we know it's right. So. Science is knowledge is power, it says. So what have we got there? One sec, I just need to adjust something. Science is knowledge is power. Uh, we've got two different font sizes. What have we got? So, okay, well let's... There are a variety of possible types of code that you can use. Is there only those two that they give you? This could be... It's... Um, if I was to assign a letter to each of these, let's say uppercase A and lowercase B, A, 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 B, A, 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 
D B B B A this could be A B B A B if I remember rightly Cipher, bacon cipher, which was A's and B's, which then signified certain letters. Difficult to say because it isn't actually here, but it looks like we've completed all these steganography puzzles. So what's next? We have this one. Transposition. So this obviously is where a letter is substituted for another one uh, in the kind of order So like, you know, you, you go, you move around in the, the the alphabet or you adjust things. So clearly, without even trying, that's cipher. Like that. No doubt in my mind. There was no doubt about that one. That one was easy. But now you've got, so you've got transposed letters here. Um... But what if you go back and forth between them? T H E J E W E L S Jewels R Hidden Hidden Jewels are hidden beneath the elm tree, so is it elm tree? Is that the word we're looking for? Yeah, elm tree. So yeah, I mean you've got to kind of, you've almost got to guess what this is. Noit sulfur, noit sulfur. The immediate things you look for are what order the words and the letters are in, and I can see straight away what this is. It's in reverse. Reflection. So we'll go with reflection. Because it's right. There we go. What's next? Okay, we've got like a grid of letters. A grid of letters. How would this work? This is, I'm looking at these, um, if we assume the crosses are spaces, and we start from bottom, assassin, Assassin en route. Trust. Yeah, trust. 
no one. You have to kind of go diagonally all over the, sc the screen there. It's something about a jade dragon. I wonder if the password is jade dragon. I can't really explain my, my... It's hard to put into exact words how you get... How, you, how that works, but you've got to kind of go diagonally in the letters and work your way around the board. I can't really explain it more more easily than that, to be honest. And that was really just a possible answer. So what do we have here? So we've got... We've got some... Oh, excuse me. Uh, the cues, I think, are spaces. Oh yeah, look, and if, if you reverse the three letters in between the cues, you get strike at dawn. The cues are spaces, because, you know, Q isn't, isn't a commonly used letter, really, is it? I mean, in, the, in alphabetical terms, how often do you really use the letter Q? Not that you don't use it. These are the most common English diagrams. T H I N E R R E I E N and H E. Uh, that was Strike of Dawn. This one. Okay, this one might take a bit more time to work out. Let me see this. Okay, what do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 27, and 32 letters. That can't be the whole thing. So how do we break this down? Hmm. I'm going to have to get a bit of paper. I didn't have a piece of paper with me until now, and I really need one. Because it's not jumping out at me immediately. I am going to try something find my pen. There it is. It's a cheap pen. <laughs> That's all we need. Oh, I need to see that. Where's it gone? Oh no, I've lost my... Oh, there we go. Right, I'm going to try something. 32. I wonder if I break this into columns of eight letters. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> will work, but I feel like I'm going to try it. At least you've got some nice music to keep you company while I'm working this out. done is I put it in kind of four stacks of, there's a lot of other stuff written on there, I'm sorry, uh, four stacks of eight. If I look at that, the, oh yeah, I see, going vertically along each line, the men plan a mutiny return to Bristol. The men plan a mutiny return to Bristol. Okay, so Bristol? Okay, I'll take that. Uh, okay. So what could this be? What could this be? Let's see. Oh, do you know what? I think I might have got it already. It's chess related. So... If we start from the C in the top left hand corner, move down two and one to the right, we go to A. Uh, across two and one up, we go to S. 
Uh, up one and across two we go to T, down two and across one we go to L, these chess moves. Castle, it's a knight. The moves of a knight. We've got castle in there. Can also get king out of it. And queen. Gonna be castle, king, queen? Or it could have been castle, queen, king, or you know. Technically it's not a castle, but okay, we'll, we'll, we'll let them away with that, I suppose, for now. So what's this now? I think this might need to be a similar thing to that other one we did. Uh, let me just think here. So if I... how many letters are there? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 4, 8, 30. 30, how could you break that down evenly? Six? Six rows of six? Is that right? Let me try. T U T T M O W S I H I N O S M R the music stopped. I'm sorry. N E. There it comes again. P I E E. P I E E. U Z. L X S E S Z. Okay. Um, one sec. Let me just have a look at this. Here we go. Two plus six times three minus one. Two plus six minus three. Wait a minute. No, two plus six, that's eight, times three. Twenty. No, 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 no. Six times three. Six, twelve. Yeah, eighteen. Plus two's twenty. <laughs> Wait. Six times three is eighteen. Plus two. Did I get that right? 2 plus 6 times 3 minus 1. That's 18. Sorry, wait. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2. No, 19. Nailed it. Let's keep going. So that's that room. Cleared. Which door are we going through now? Have we opened a few of them? What's going on? Monoalphabetic substitution. Substituting ciphers aim to disguise a message by substituting its letters for a different set of characters, leaving the message completely obscured. Telltale characteristics of the original letter remain. The most commonly, yeah, so we look for the most commonly occurring letters. In this case, this one's actually given me some of the letters. So, what do we do? We look for letters that stand out. Can we find. Oh, we found E, so well, E's already done for us. Okay, wait. X is probably M. There's no help anywhere. X, X, X. X isn't in that word. That's. I'm guessing that's the bold word we're looking for. T must be H. 
because these these words the GTP which occurs well there anyway saw it again there yeah so GTP occurs more than once it's probably going to be the right I would assume T wait yeah 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 sorry yeah T is H which again doesn't help us with that but it does give us the first letter which is H H This is quite difficult. Wait, so the X in the GWXP is... What did I say it was? M. So T something M, E it has to be I, right? W has to be I. So if we've got that... Wait a minute, I'm going to write the word we're trying to break down. G-O-H-Q-R-L-K-S-H Q-W-H And already on it we have that the first letter is T The R is S And what did I say? I I was H, wasn't it? So I and I Wait. No, it wasn't. W was I. Okay, no, so that's wrong. I wrote that in the wrong place. However... Yeah, okay. So, what other letters can we find? T, we said, was H, didn't we? So that second word, T-H said, H something D hid, had, we're not a hundred percent on that yet, okay wait a minute, uh, but this, this HG, it's got a T, so it's either, well it could be at or it, still doesn't really help me. Does any of that help me? Well, the dub, oh, W, this ZWR, DIS, sorry, I'm getting, I'm hitting something. Uh, this, this, because we've got it in the thing, so A, there's three of them in fact, Tasmania, no there's not enough letters, uh, so I think that's disposal, which means, that, ha that is had, the TH said, so ha, had, has uh, something G had uh, I wait a minute what's that word the GTHG at the bottom that could be well there's only that so that's that T is an H yeah so well we worked that out already didn't we having Having, that could be having. S is V. If I can find anywhere else where that works. The trouble with S is it's not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, the SWR, could be visited. Because those two are I's. Yeah, it must be visited. So S has to be V. S is V, that helps me. I'll tell you what it could be. I'm just going to try it, just because the way the letters are shaping up, I think it's Transylvania. It is. 
just I mean it was just based on the way that the letters were coming out were coming out gradually. Um, what do we have here? We've got a chart here that tells us how regular things are coming. This is telling me how often these letters appear. Ah, okay, so L. How many times does L appear? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Double letter G, double G, double G could be two, three. Don't really. Oh, hang on. Oh, I get it. Soon. So S O N. After. I just need to know what that word in the middle is. L A B O R. It has to be a laboratory, right? It has to be. Laboratory. And it is. Good. So what have we got? We've got new stuff over here. Oh, here we go. Almost like hieroglyphs. Do we have any? So these are just letter frequencies. Doesn't help me with that, really. Um, this is difficult because there's no letters. ones that appear most. I'll tell you what, that, that like line, the, the vertical line, that appears quite a lot. I can see that straight away. That must be E, surely. Okay, so E, so the, the, the kind of vertical line is E. I wonder what else, what else occurs regularly? T? 9.6% of the time. I think T is the one, the second one, on the second part of that word. They like backwards four. is finding yeah so that's T at the start of there and then there's two E's at the end of it something T something E something E could be these well it can't be I think that uh, hexagonal shape is H Now it could either be S or R. It could be theme, but I don't think it is. S and R, they occur at pretty similar frequency. 
let's say it's R, just for now, let's say it's R. That makes that second word something T something R. That's, that's a start. So I wonder if... Do you know the alternating one? There, I'm going to say that's there. Is? Could it be is? Let's say it's is. So... Ah, see this, this word. S-T something R. It must be star or stir. And there's a... There's a dot on its own which would probably be just the word A. I'm going to say that's star. Now what did we say? This ends with E. Can we pull star? There is... Well, that's two E's. E something, E something. Ever? Probably is ever. A. Oh, what could that be? Something, something, A, something. There's ever a. Is this Sherlock Holmes? Flaw. L something something E star. Lone star, surely. Just I suddenly had a... It is. Wow. Okay. Oh, what's this last one all about? Oh, I don't like the look of this. Letters are most frequent. Or J. And the next most frequent N is it? Is it N? I don't know. Let's see. And there's no spaces, so I have no idea. at the bottom then. Hispaniola? Hispaniola? This is, I can't really explain how... I don't have the words to explain how that works. But as you can see, it does. So there's not much more I can really say about it, to be honest. Uh, okay, that clears this room. I'd rather move on. What's that? Challenge puzzles? Well, we'll look at that after. Polyalphabetic substitution. Okay. So this is, um... The visionary cipher... Keyword is selected. And then you rotate its position. 11 places, second rotates 5 places, and the third 25. So what you're doing is you're moving the, the lettering around to different positions in the alphabet so that it's not a, it's not a simple um, solution. Only three in here. 
So yeah, obviously this has now given me plus one positions for things, up to plus 26. So that helps. Uh, right, let's see. Flash. Flash. Okay, so I want to, what if I take away the letters value for each of the letters? What do we get here? So we got flash. Z minus F. C D S is six letters in. That'll be T. T minus L. Yeah, G That's nine letters away. H V one letter away, that's U. This might be right. G minus S. Is that twenty nineteen? G minus nineteen. Uh N. So obviously we go back and then we go back round. And L minus H, A, B, C, D, F, 7. A D. So then we go back to the beginning. K minus F. Minus L R Thunder. Okay, so Thunder's part of it. Uh, a Zoom take A uh, A away from B N the thunder and, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm pretty sure th if we're using thunder and, it has to be thunder and lightning, right? It's the combination is obvious once you get started. Okay, we don't have a cipher for this. We have to guess. VL, VL... VL, VL, VL happens quite a lot. I wonder what that means. JCW comes twice. It's got to be, it's, the key's got to be three, three letters. I would assume. I mean, if that's the case, I would say that the JCW has to be the, right? The JCW, the JCW, J, C, so I think that the P I think the cipher is P-U-R so that's the cat sat the cat sat VL's AT, I'm going to assume it's Matt. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, that was relatively straightforward. This one, not so much. Mm, do we have any repeating sections? Da, 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 da. AF 
cage happens more than once, so I would assume that's the... If that's the case... We're looking at... G... G... B... C? G, B, C? know how this works. R. No. Ah, wait. Okay. The key is um, CGX. So if I had to guess, C. M uh, O N Mono Yeah, Mono G R some monogram monograph. Yes. It's a difficult one to kind of understand fully. Because uh, the, the key... It's a bit awkward, to be fair. The Visionaire Square. Took me a minute to get used to it. So this is mechanized cryptography, like the Enigma machines, for example. This message was encrypted with the same prototype cipher machine, but the scrambler's starting orientation is unknown. The messages always begin with a Roman numeral 15. So if they always begin with 15, we're talking, talking X, V, so Q and H have to be X and V, right? I mean, they have to be. That always starts with that. Does it? But 
what's XV going to stand for? So it's just the last, the last uh, six letters we want. So if X and V are Q and H, not that this this doesn't really help, if I'm honest. This is X and V, Q and I. Hard. You know, some of them are easy to explain, others are not, and I can't really explain how I'm getting the, this. I think it's right. Yeah, it's right. This one. Spice has successfully captured a complete Enigma machine and code book. The internal wirings for the remaining scramblers are as follows. Blitzkrieg. What? Did I spell it? I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I spelled it with an, the E and I transposed, which was wrong. What's next? Now we've got digital cryptography, so binary codes, among other things. It could be difficult. Does it give me some binary information? We've got gates, XOR gates, binary, and uh, ASCII codes. Not so easy. But we know that binary, these are changing to numbers yeah zero one one zero zero one zero zero a hundred and we're going back to 97 116 and that's the same so 97 we say 197, 116, and 97. And if we trans oh, transpose to ASCII code, the two 97s are A, D would be 100, it has to be data, or data if you prefer. to kind of um, change that from binary to ASCII this is XOR code I think 
this hello world. Looks like it. Looks like I was right. Next. 21312572, and then we've got a stack of uh, binary numbers. Got it, okay. Positions, the, the top part's telling me where we need to move positions. great deal of difference until you get to the fourth column. So it changes all the numbers into different binary numbers. So for example, the top row would be 0, 1, 1, 0 still. But the row below that would be, uh, be zero. <laughs> uh, zero. And zero, that stays the same. Not, yeah, it does. But the row below that would become zero, one, one zero rather than zero one one one. If we move the columns down by the number that's there and rotate it, and if we do that, the numbers are This one looks like it's going to be a bit of a pain. IMG? Hold on, IMG? I know what this is without even... I'm going to try something even if it's... I don't know if it's right, but an, an image file is a... Right? A JPEG. I was completely just a uh, let's try this basic encryption standard oh I hate this so you got to arrange the text into 4x4 four four blocks which is a pain to deal with so I'm just going to do this in my head with the music behind because in my mind. The quicker in my head. done all of these rooms I think now. The only other thing to do would be we could take a look at what these challenges are. I don't know how many of them there are. I don't know how long they'll take.
pop that up. What's that? E. E. G. G. A. G. B. D. And E. Hold on. What are those? Is it five and seven? Sorry, just a sec. Sorry about that, just had to answer a call. Anyway, I think the answer to this is... It's, um, Elgar's Variation 10. Polybius? Sator. Oh, the square is Sator. It's compass directions. Okay, well that says. Does anyone want to? I don't. <laughs> no. So there we go. That is Cipher. Uh, all about cryptography. And uh, yeah, it was okay, I suppose. Sorry, I'm a little bit sore. But it was all right. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to hit that like button and maybe add a subscription. I'll see you next time.